Well, hello guys, welcome back. It's now time for episode number eight, and I'm Imperial Jedi, and we're continuing right off where we um, uh, finished in episode seven, which was starting our construction of the uh, main central transportation hub. And I think we're actually just about to jump into uh, making this bridge right here. So let's, uh, yeah, let us continue. So yeah, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in, guys, appreciate that. And for those of you who went back to episode one and hit the like button, I appreciate that too. It's kind of a weird thing for me to ask for, but uh, you know, I do appreciate that. Trying to grow our little community here. Good way to kind of introduce some new uh, new members, you know? Starting off a new series. And then yeah, in terms of like rankings and like that kind of stuff, it's like episode one is always the most important. Episode two to a certain extent, but see, so yeah, when you hit the like button, that kind of stuff, it really does help. Okay, so we're just doing a little bridge across right here. And we're gonna just drop on down to this road. I actually might, um, let me see how steep this looks. Eh. I'm tempted to back this up just like the littlest amount. Oh, there it is. So let's try from here. Maybe we can do this in two stages. Um, oh, okay, never mind. Got rid of that road, it fixed it. That's nice and smooth. I didn't want it to be too steep with a drop off. But that's kind of neat, right? I wonder if we can. I don't think we can go any shorter. Hmm. I'm about to press my luck and try this again, but I want to try maybe from that side. Dropping that down. Yeah, see, it is possible. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer, I think. Not as dramatic. Okay. So the tricky thing, I think, let me pause this right here. So we're probably gonna disrupt some roads and stuff. And I think we're fine for money and you know everything else, right? I just don't want any, cause I feel like we need to put in some more services and stuff. I don't want to feel, or like have the city feel neglected while we're just kind of over here. So we'll just pause it. See, I wanted, oh, it does not work. Um, I wonder if we curve slightly. Oh yeah. I want something, you know, kind of like, it's really like this, right? That maybe not so, so close. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring this rail in for my guess. Oh gosh. Remember we were talking in the last episode of wanting to bring this over and then down. We can probably go, you know, use the length of the highway in the middle of there. Hmm. This for me might maybe be, um, a little bit steep. I wonder if we can terraform just to get a little bit more like flat area down there to kind of start. And then, so we know this is possible. We can always just reconstruct that if we need to, but let's just try something really quickly here. So let's, uh, you know, push this out, give ourselves a bit of a slope over here. Kind of that sunken railroad kind of feel under this part. So, I mean, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully this works. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, not as much yes. <laughs> Is that the right thing to say there? Because it kind of goes up and then down again. Um, hmm. Not the worst. Maybe we can push that back a little bit. I don't want to get too close to the tunnel because it'll start to just give us those like holes in the uh, you know the earth kind of thing where we get the bright blue kind of like weird texture issue. So I want to avoid that. Oh, that's much better. Oh yeah, and I, we're a little bit further away this time around. I think that's also better. Um, hmm. So here's a million dollar question. How are we gonna get from here into the middle with this bridge in the way? Um, try something here. Ooh, that bridge here is a little bit low. Let me try this again. Where was that snap? There it is. Oh, it's the, oops, there we go. Other side. Ah, yes, 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 yes. All right, so that, ooh, that looks so nice. Okay, so we'll keep that. 
Um, I think maybe this could be taller? Oh no, that's still fine. That does seem a little bit short. Yeah, you can see how like the like the electric wires are kind of going through. So we need this bridge to be a little bit taller, otherwise our trains are going to unfortunately clip on this. So I, I reckon we'll have to kind of move that back a little bit, which is fine. <clears throat> okay, so let's go... So we want to go up to 12. So there we go, four clicks up. Go across. And... Hmm. Do we want, I mean, hmm. If we go like this, can we sneak this now through? Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Almost. All right, so go through like that. I have an idea forming. I think I can pull it off. Okay. Oh, actually, it's probably the same. Um, I'm looking for that even Steven kind of look again there. Great. And we can run another road through here if we wanted to just do one more kind of side street kind of feel. All right, so this is where things get a little bit crazy, and I hope we can make this happen. So I'd like this to become elevated now. Maybe we can elevate... Oh yeah, nice and long. Oh, actually, you know, if we stay elevated... That'll look cool being next to the other elevated section. And then... Oh yeah. So we're gonna have to... Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. So let's go a bit further out. And then this can kind of swoop over like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know why these little things. I just, I love them for some reason. All right, I have a feeling that we're pushing our luck with that direction right there. So perhaps we can get rid of this. Put that in. We just changed you know, the side streets around over here just a little bit. Oh, would you look at that? We can even get that right back in with no, no problems. And we got one extra street for a little bit more zoning. Realistically, it's going to be very loud having this train constantly coming through here. So let's switch this to commercial because they won't really mind the noise as much. Same with on this side. A lot of demand for commercial right now anyway, so... Not a bad thing we're doing. All right, that's cool. That's like that's really cool. Let's take a little, little look at this. So an elevated train network that'll come through the uh, the city. And if you guys remember from last episode, my amazing discovery, which I'm so excited to still do, we're gonna be turning our little one-way street network into our um, uh, streetcar lines, it's like our tram slash streetcars. And uh, yeah, that'll be just like wicked awesome. I can't wait to see all that happening. So, and then uh, what I'm doing over here, the reason why we have the two uh, tracks, is I'm doing a bypass to go around the station. So if you're not stopping at the station, you still can just make it right on by, and you won't be delayed or slowed down by, uh, by anyone else. Um, can I? I should be able to sneak through here. What's uh, what's going on? It's probably the snap points. I'm just too close to these roads. I wonder if we just open that up for a second. Oh, yeah. And then I'd like to curve these two together. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you know, let's try for something that's a bit, like, a little bit uh, sharper. And, gosh, it's going to be a little bit challenging because of all the extra snap points here and everything being so close together. I'm going to try my darndest, but... I may have to delete some roads here and there. Okay. This one's relatively easy to put back in, so it's not too hard to do.
Hmm. I'm not opposed to having that little bit of a space in between, but it'd be nice if they were a little bit closer together. It just seems like it's going to be a little bit too much effort than it's worth to kind of get this to line up. I don't know. Let's, let's try it. I don't want to be negative. What, what am I talking about here? Okay, let me just see if that's... So that's too tight. I kind of figured that was the case. Oh, what am I trying to do? I'm get to that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's try this out right here. Oop, I think that's it. No, darn it. Okay, so I did have to go that extra click there. Okay. Okay. We are learning. Ooh, there it is. Oh, that was so worth it. Okay, let's reconnect these. Comes in like that. Perfect. And then this just goes like that. Hopefully. Cool. Then we'll change this direction just so it's the right way around. Okay. A little bit of work just to get this uh, train line in place, but I think it's worth it. I think it'll be really cool in the end. And then uh, from this. I'd like to start becoming a, um, a bridge. There we go. Okay, so we'll go up with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, nifty. Now, that's not too tall, is it? No, that was really cool. Yeah, that's, that should be okay for height, right? Not, not too dramatic. Okay, now I think it's gonna be a little bit challenging to bring this up and over. So what I might do for this segment here is um, bring that tram uh, avenue style road a little bit closer to our little makeshift highway. And then we can use these roads to reconnect. Actually, let's use the tram roads. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't you know. Very nice. Oh, I love that. That gives us just that extra little bit of room to uh, to raise the rails up. Uh, you know, it's a little steep now that I see it. Even though we get that extra... You know, like this. Yeah, that's not enough. Now, what happens if we tunnel? It is still steep. You don't really notice it as much, though, because we're going underground, right? Or the last option, which it's... I mean, it's possible, and I, I think this should be okay. Let me just try something kind of unique right here. Okay. Now, I'm not 100% if this is going to work or not, so this might just be kind of a waste. Oh, no, don't tell me it is. Oh, this is in the way. I was hoping to do a slight incline here, and then maybe we could just bring the road down, or the height of the terrain of the, um, you know, right underneath this bridge right here, a little bit lower to accommodate the rails, but I don't know anymore. Okay, so that's like right in the path, of course. But let me let me show you what I mean here. So we're gonna terraform, grab that, just go like this, right? Get a little bit of a trench kind of action happening. <clears throat> go like that, and then the goal was to reconnect there, right? But we're a little bit too close to this. So I mean, hmm. let me try. Okay, so that's back. That looks nice. No doubt about that. Oh, so, I mean, it is possible. See, look at that. Oh! <gasps> Do it just before. Okay. These discoveries, I love them. I get so excited. Oh, the 
height of nine, which is, I think, enough. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, stop it. You're getting too excited here. Stop clicking on stuff. Here, who's in the driver's seat? Yes, sir, Bob. Now that is some interesting infrastructure. Oh, that's so cool. So we'll have trams going over top. The train's doing its own thing still. And we can continue this little trench through our downtown. Oh my gosh, this is suddenly becoming really fun. Oh, but you know what? Um, are we going to do a trench or are we going to bring this up or down or whatever? Hmm. No, the trench, it seems like it would be a lot of effort, all things considering. I don't want to say I'm lazy, but just in the interest of time and, and whatnot, why don't we bring this up? So let's go across like that. I think that can be a smoother transition. It doesn't do it on its own, though. Um, hmm. Oh. Ooh, 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 hello. Now we're talking. Uh, let's go across like that. Ooh, it's even better. That'll go like this. This can just work way across. Yeah, I think elevated is the way to go because I think the the trench would be a little bit dramatic because we'd be keeping it at that height and it would just seem like a really big kind of like almost like a gorge kind of going through the um through like our, our downtown old old town part which I don't really think would kind of suit the style too well this however looks really neat it's just that little breakaway gentle downhill go to a separate station this, I think, can be a smoother transition. I don't think we actually need to lift that much over this. I think we'll go in from here. And we'll bring that down. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like an even height the whole way across now. Well, I mean, not even, even, but you know what I mean, right? It's smoother. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. So in and around here, I can see us putting in a lot of our taller offices, some high-density commercial. We can use some of our custom buildings. Some of that can spill over to the outskirts of our old town. But we can do a lot of parks and stuff to line this, so it still feels like it's like a, you know, like an older part of town, essentially, right? The density won't be too insane there. Some bigger spacing between the buildings. And man, this is looking cool. Okay, so let's, um, let's connect this part. I want to elevate this part of the rail and then link up... Uh, right about here, hopefully. So, I mean, I think this is doable. Maybe a little bit further down. Or what if we come in from the other side? No, I think what we need to do is maybe go a bit further out, just like the littlest amount. Get a bit more room to kind of work with here. Okay. And I'd like this to be just a hint longer, please. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we're doing this in transitions. That's better. Cool. Okay, now I wonder if the height is better this time around to try and accomplish... Darn it! What is going on here? How are we having such bad luck? Oh, wait, there it is. All right, take it back. I'm not having bad luck here. Okay, so that can't be too steep, which makes perfect sense to me. So why don't we try that staggered approach over here as well? Ah, a little bit of clipping. So what I'm thinking 
is that if we go from here to say here and then up like that oh I didn't go enough over here okay so this again might not work oh there it is okay I gotta be so I gotta be less doubtful yeah that's really cool all right, and then if we change the spacing over here, we can um, have the rail make a T-junction right here and just continue along. I, I don't know, let's not really stress about that just yet because we have to buy some more city tiles. I don't think we have the option to buy another, no, no. So that's just something we can do down the road. I don't want to spend too much more time just kind of getting stuck in doing you know rail junctions here and there, right? Let's do a little bit more focus on, uh, on the in-town part. All right, so very quickly, let's just um, upgrade these guys. Get that going the right direction. And honestly, I cannot wait to try getting the trams and everything kind of, you know, working right on through here. We'll figure that out after. <laughs> this is so cool. But it's like, just, you know, even this interchange here, just to see trams going in and around while you have buses and all these trains going by, and, oh, can't wait. So just in, in terms of, like, order of operations, um, what we'll do is we'll progressively start adding some transit lines. Oh, you son of a gun. We just did that, too. Um, yeah, we'll progressively start adding some transit lines in and around the, um, the area to slowly expand on um, on what we got, because I, I don't want to get too um, you know too lost in just doing you know three or four episodes in a row of just like nonstop transit lines, right? Like I still want to keep things kind of mixed up. So we'll kind of do the city in um, in stages, I guess. And I'm kind of seeing the trams that we'll be using are. Um, our little one-way roads like this, I kind of see them as being, um, what's a good way to kind of describe this? It's almost like like a replacement for our subway. If that makes any sense or so? So we might still do a subway or a metro, depends on how you guys want to want to call it. But um, I think just while the city is small, just to kind of start us off, we're gonna do, yeah, just kind of trams is kind of our focus for a bit of a longer distance in the city. Same with trains to a certain extent. So these would come off, and these would join up with that street. And then like one of these I think would become a tram as well, right? So we'll figure that out when we're doing the uh, the tram routes themselves. I'm just doing a little bit of this now, so it's not that much of a shock when we um, you know, start doing our, our tram routes. Just kind of spreading this load out, as it were. Let's connect that like that. And what did we miss right here? Oh, I've made that uh, one way when this instead should be two-way road, just right here. And I think I did the same thing on that side. Oh, but uh, I just noticed that when we do end up doing this, um, we don't have the way out on that side for the tram track. So we would probably have to, oh boy, that's when things get crazy, right? Same with on that side, we have to change, maybe we'll just downgrade this little section here of our um, six lane road, just to accommodate some trams, um, being able to turn around, go through and stuff. Otherwise, I would like to keep that six lane road kind of like, you know, a corridor from one end of the city to the other. As I mentioned before, on, um, on wider roads, so like the six lane road, it has a higher speed limit than the four lane, you know, like the duplex or the avenue roads or whatever, right? So just stuff you can kind of keep in, uh, in mind when you're doing your own city planning and everything. Okay, so we'll do a few more train stations, but I don't really see those as essentially the way to get around in our, um, in our city. It's more like trams and buses. Oops, are we messing everything up here? I think so. Okay, 
what have we done? There we go. Yeah, underground, let's do this part. Okay. Just getting a little bit of that out of the way. And then, so yeah, so over here, um, what can we do in terms of making things a little bit more functional? I wonder if we would have better luck if our bus terminal was facing that direction? No, you know what, because of the way the buses are going to clip over here, it's going to look all silly, so I, I take that back. And I don't think we would get much use out of this stop this side of the stop anymore, so we'll keep that as it is. But I would like just a few more um, roads, and I think we actually have to do another set of um, of rails through here in terms of the trams. I think maybe we can go that way instead of having bus lanes. I don't think the buses are going to be like, you know, slow down or anything, right? Okay, so that can go like that. Across like this. These double lights just really, I'm not a fan of them, you know? You guys are well aware of this. Let's do a bridge or a tunnel. I think a tunnel is more, more realistic for right here. Yep. And so we still have our way on and off over here. I think we could possibly use another street for on and offs. See right about here. Alrighty. Do that. Oh, I wonder if that if we can do this. Again, just for you know the little bits of symmetry, just so the city kinda lines up nicely. And I had some requests just for some more uh, curved neighborhoods, and I'm like totally, totally, totally fine with doing that. I have been kind of neglecting our our curves as of late, so why don't we just do something kind of over here? I know this has nothing really to do with our public transit, but well, that lined up nicely with that. So why don't we just do that? A little bit more curve for this part of town. Why don't we not hit that avenue? Why don't we just end things like this, but with a bit more spacing? Oh, and then maybe we can go like this, actually. Oh, yes. Oh, and these, of course, these would also be our tram tracks. Oh, cool. So that's our way to get trams through here. Right, right, right. Oh, this will be very exciting. And then in general, there shouldn't be too many cars on here, especially if we're encouraging a lot of people to be using public transit. Okay. And then this can be for trams. Cool. And then this one, oh, um, Okay, so, new plan of attack. I know we're taking out a bike lane right here. This I would like to have as trams, and we're gonna go over this uh, bus road. I mean, because the buses themselves, they don't normally run into problems. So I'd rather have the trams go through here with a bit of priority and a bit of help with the lanes and stuff. So we'll do that, and that'll get some trams going through our old town, and then, you know, Kind of fun looking with the uh, the one ways like that too. So we still have a bit of the bike network working in. We just need a replacement now on the other side. And then where will this one go? Uh, we need a way to these one way streets. So bike lane doesn't have to be on both sides. Now I wonder if we would get a set of lights if we do that. So we can just have this connect like that. And then that become this. And then this become bike lane.
Or that can just go back to regular road. And then that becomes... Oh, okay. It's going to be such a fun, fun challenge getting all these trams to kind of cooperate and not get too busy. And we'll have to route them and then they can each kind of serve a certain zone, have some overlap, and I don't know, it'll be pretty fun to do all this. Also a pretty good experiment in just how long we can make some routes and, you know, like what'll be like functional and what'll be efficient and I don't know, we can just test some stuff out here. So hopefully we can discover some, some new, uh, new tricks or something. I am quite optimistic. All right, so that is fine and dandy like that. You know what would be really neat is if we had this go up and then circle Brandenburg Gate right here. That would be awesome. Okay, so that means that we would have this street become a one-way, but going the other direction versus that one. This can stay as two-way traffic. Actually, let's just make that little stretch here the one-way. Why not? back to that. Cool, this is so exciting. I love it. I literally cannot wait to get this going. Or keep that two-way traffic and then you do this. There we go. There we go indeed. Okay, so back over here, um, I just like a few more side streets and stuff and then I think we can start zoning I think we pretty much have what I'm after and just in terms of like you know shape and, and whatnot and you know ways in and and functionality and I think we're okay over here now so just some general roads with bike lanes oh it'd be really cool is if we get uh, a bike lane Coming from here. Oh no, that's not gonna work because of the way the uh, the road's set up. So I take that back. Can't whoever do that though. You can just little things like this just to get stuff to line up. Keep that like that. Connect that last little bit of the bike lane. All right. Okay, so let's put in some parks and stuff. Let's make our area feel very pedestrian friendly. Again, I don't want to get lost in that like high density feeling, which is very easy to do when you're building these big, big, big neighborhoods. Put that in place. I'm gonna move this over, actually, so it lines up. Maybe one of these roads. Eh, not quite, right? Maybe in the middle. All right, well, maybe that plan isn't gonna work, so we'll do this instead. more people walking through here and of course these don't want to connect magnet there we are I swear this game just some days has a weird sense of humor like you can tell the game it wants to do certain things but then it's suddenly like mm, maybe not today and I would like to see a few people walking in and around and down here so let's make a little walking trail, a little pathway system available. This is just, you know, for fun. And we'll get some function out of it too. So it should look kind of nice. Yeah, 
There we go. That looks cool. And then let's put some trees in and around it, just so it kind of feels like it's almost an extension to that little first park that we made. And it's always good to include an actual park, just so that the area benefits from, you know, the land value increase. And you're not just getting the, uh, you know, the actual... Like, you know, we're doing this more for a visual thing right now. Like, yes, some people will use it, but if we didn't have this park, this alone wouldn't really, um, wouldn't really increase the land value. So in combination, they're kind of, you know, good to have together. The land value, and it's easy on the eyes. Okay. Well, I think we're going to, um, wrap things up here, guys. I know we didn't really do all that much in terms of building just in this spot. It was more just kind of expanding on the area. But what we're going to do in the next episode is um, we'll start zoning over here and then we can start putting in the first of our uh, transit lines. And then I think when we have a few tram lines down, we can put in um, a few more train stations and just kind of start moving out. And then we'll serve some of the areas, um, you know, where the trams kind of cut through. We'll support them with buses, like that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's uh, end things off here. Appreciate you uh, hanging out with me as always. I will see you guys in the next one. Definitely keep dropping the comments. I'm sorry I'm a little bit slow to uh, to respond to them. Doesn't mean I'm not reading them. Like I read like literally like everything that comes in. I just unfortunately just a little bit busy these days. I'm actually in Ottawa right now. I brought my computer along with me because I'm a bit of a maniac just so I could record this. But yeah, so keep keep writing. I will definitely get a response to you. It might take me a little bit of time, so I do apologize if that's the case. But you know, if anything's super pressing, you can always reach me uh, on Twitter. I check that a little bit more often. It's a little bit easier to kind of yeah, get notifications my way. I mean, because these days I do get a lot of comments that come in on, on YouTube. So it's kind of, sometimes your comment gets a little bit lost. And I don't, I don't mean that for, you know, to be the case. But anyway, guys, so thanks for hanging out. Really am happy the way the city is coming along. Definitely can't wait to see this little uh, transit network of ours uh, continue to grow. But this is cool. I'm liking how we got the train going through here. We got the tram going around Brandenburg Gate. We got our transit hub a little bit more finished off. We got this like sweet rail kind of system working, so this look pretty pretty swank, and a fun little park here. All right, my friends, that is it. I will see you in the next one. All the best, and uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys.